How's it going everyone and welcome back to whatever this channel is. Today we have some more anime figure opening stuff. I got like a, I got a pretty big haul here. Um, I got some of them from Amiyami and I got stuff from Kotobukiya. Kotobukiya. I'm so bad at the Japanese pronunciations. Uh, US. They actually have a US store. I didn't know that. And it's way cheaper shipping. So overall, way cheaper shipping. Both Good Smile Company and Kotobukiya have a US store. And it turns out there was a bunch of stuff in stock that I was really looking forward to that's usually really expensive. So I'm really excited for this video. I did get something from Amiyami that's not an anime figure. And that is Zillions of Enemy X. We'll probably be opening this on this channel at some point. It's kind of like a little premium starter deck with like these foils and cute figures and or cute characters and stuff. So that's pretty cool. I'm gonna kind of toss that off to the side. Let's get to the main event, right? So I just got back from Las Vegas. I did coverage for a Channel Fireball card game event uh, for a game called Flesh and Blood. It's on my main channel. It's my favorite game. I love Flesh and Blood and I now do coverage for it for, uh, for Channel Fireball. It was an amazing time. I did a vlog on it. But what's relevant to this is I got back and I had waiting for me not only my lovely girlfriend and my adorable dog, but I also had some anime figures. So I'm gonna share those with you today. Not the dog or girlfriend, <laughs> the anime figures. So this is uh, Chen from Ark Knights. Really, really cool. This, um, if you saw my other video doing the uh, Skyfire Elite, this is made by the same company. It's a Chinese company. Um, I should also note that there's a, um, there's like a little, what do you want to call it? A reflective seal here. If you are concerned about getting um, fakes or anything like that, definitely check on the box for this this seal right here. Uh, it's like a reflective seal that has the company name. Hypergriff Arc Knights. So that's what you want to look for. That's what you want to look for. I am really excited for this one. I'm not the biggest fan of Arc Knights. I do have it and play it on my phone, but I really like the characters from it and the character designs. I've spent already way more on Arc Knights figures than I have on the actual game. And so that was the first figure, the first of four um, figures, and they're all kind of expensive. We're opening up like, you know, almost $500 worth of figures today. I'm gonna push this and knock it into the camera. I'm pushing this off to the side. Okay, so we have our box from Kotobuki now. Uh, this is a, it's a big box, basically. It's a really big box. Um, I'll try to get it on screen, but it's big. So here we go. Um, it's, yeah, it's a big boy or big girl. I don't know, man. You can see the Koto tape here. Um, KotoUS.com, highly recommended. So yeah, they had some really rare figures that I've been looking for for a while that um, are really expensive on eBay and the secondary market. And you know what? Just buy from the manufacturer. It's so much cheaper than getting like, having to pay the scalp pricing. So here's what it looks like inside a little bit. You can see it a little bit. Basically, I wanted you to I wanted you to see Forte because I got the I got the Dark Dragoon Forte from uh, Rage of Bahamut and Shadowverse, and she's one of my favorite characters in Shadowverse. And I've wanted the figure forever, and it's usually really expensive, but I got it for 140 bucks. So let me pull that out. Here we go. Here is Forte. I don't know how much you can see it. I don't know if there's a lot of glare, but in any case, she is top tier Dragon Girl Waifu and she looks freaking awesome. Uh, getting this shipped from Japan would have cost a lot of money. This is a big box. And I know it's not a fake because it's directly from Kotobukiya. Really excited, really, really excited for this one. Um, I, lo I am a big fan of Shadowverse. I played Shadowverse a lot. Um, I think I, I'm in like the double A ranks. I kind of didn't want to grind up to master, but I love the game. It's a ton of fun. And um, I'm, I really want to get a lot of uh, like Shadowverse characters. So speaking of which, I got another one. I have to kind of grab around her because there's another figure. In fact, there's my first Fate figure in here too. So let's grab this one. They're in this nice like uh, tissue paper. Um, it's Spinaria. This is actually the collector uh, figure for Spinaria, like the alternate color. Uh, usually I think she's blue and this one is pink. So I'm really excited for this one. You know what? It's like Christmas. We're going to rip this off. I'm gonna show off her glory. This is the first time I've actually seen this box, obviously, because, um, you know, it was in the, the stuff. So yeah, Spinaria. If you play Shadowverse, she is a portal craft um, character, card, and potential leader. I actually have her as a leader in um, 
Shadowverse. Actually, I have Forte as a leader in Shadowverse too. Um, so yeah, really happy about this. I'm gonna open up all of these today and show you. And then last but not least, probably the most recognizable figure that I'm showing off today. Cause you know, I'm into the video game stuff. So these are a lot of like video games, but if you're into anime, especially this one, um, it'll be really, really recognizable because this character is quite popular. This is uh, Saber from Fate. And so this is uh, one of the Saber figures that I really, really like. I like her like, I like her like, I like the figures where she's like wearing her armor and she's got the big sword and she's glowing and it looks awesome. But I also kind of like the casual Saber. And that's what we got here. We got, we got Cash Saber. She is absolutely fantastic looking. Um, really like the design of this character and the figure just looks absolutely fantastic. So uh, yeah, we're gonna open up all these today and um, yeah, let's just do it. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. This is gonna be a, a sweet way to kind of like deck out the background here if you watch my other channel. Um, so we're gonna have a lot of brand new figures adorning that. And I consider this the, the real beginning of my figure collecting journey. Even though we've had a couple videos featuring some of these other figures back here, this is the real beginning because this is like $500 worth of figures and I kind of have like 17 figures ordered for next year. I kind of have a lot. So we're gonna see a lot of figures over the next year. Um, there's some really, really, really cool ones, including more Shadowverse stuff. Um, so this is gonna be mostly changed. We're gonna put figures on top as well. And then this is gonna stay flesh and blood, but above this and maybe below it, we might add some more figures too. So we'll see, we'll see, we'll see what, add, what we add in. Um, maybe we'll have a special section in the, the studio with just figures, but um, let's do this. All right, so this is gonna be the first time we open these like this. Um, we'll see how this goes. I think it could go, I don't know. <laughs> I think it can go pretty well. Um, it's funny to note that this has like dust on the top. So I think this has been sitting around in like their uh, warehouse or something for a while, but it was the last one because it immediately said sold out after I bought it. So I'm really happy, really, really happy to get it. Once again, I love Forte here. Uh, or Fort, is it Forte or Fort? I've never seen the anime. I've only played the game. And I, they don't really say, I don't, I don't know, I don't know. But uh, we also have some uh, excellent Red Zone Rogue playmats here from my custom, these are custom playmats for my card gaming YouTube channel. So if you'd like to get one of these, redzonerogue.com, I'm gonna be selling these playmats when it launches. Uh, this one and there's another one behind it, but you can't really see, you can't really see the other one. Anyway, let's open this up. And I realize right now that I, Probably should have become better prepared because I don't have, I don't have a box, I don't have a box cutter, and I'm gonna need to, I'm gonna need to cut this. Um, uh, okay, let me get a box cutter. All right, box cutter. Okay, let's do this. I, I, I love opening these figures, dude. It's, it's actually so much fun to open the figures. Um, a lot of the times you have to put them together, so it's a little bit tricky. Um, and I'm not great because I'm kind of a noob at this. Like I said, this is what I consider the start of my figure collecting journey. And I realize all you can see here is, um, let's turn it around so you can at least see the figure. All right, so as it is, I think I just, you just pull it out like this. That's what I guess. All of them are a little bit different and I feel bad. I don't want to break anything or harm anything, but I think, I think that's it for that. Definitely want to keep the box. I, I, I'm not as much of a noob. I know that we want to keep the boxes, right? I know that I want to keep the boxes for many reasons, for like uh, repackaging, but mostly just to like, you know, uh, if I have to move or if I want to sell the figures or whatever. Spoilers, I'm not selling this one because like I said, I've been looking for this one for a while. Um, and uh, yeah, I really, she's just awesome, man. Look at the detail on her armor. We're gonna try to get some close-ups of this, but uh, yeah. And I also bought one of those like turntable things um, that you see a lot of uh, figure collector people use. All right, so with much difficulty, I finally got it. Basically, there was a little twisty thing that I didn't see. And uh, yeah, so here we have some of her lances. Really, oh dude, that's actually quite sharp. Holy crap. Wow. Very, 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 very sharp on that. Same on this one, the the white lance. 
Wow. Really nice detail on this. Look at that, man. Really, really nice. And like I said, this one, the Forte figure was 140 bucks, I think. Um, I guess I'll just try to take her up like this. Yeah, there we go, that works. We'll set her down. Dude, she looks, she looks amazing. Uh, make sure there's nothing else in the plastic. You, I gotta make sure there's nothing else in the plastic. Um, sometimes the figures are like, I don't know, they come apart, like their heads come off and stuff, and you have to like take the plastic off. But this one's easy. You just take that off and you're good to go. Dude, she looks, she looks so good. And it looks like this just kind of like clips in like right here. Let's see if I can, and I probably need to look at the, I'm gonna hold this up to my face and uh, clip it in better, but holy, dude, like, dude, like look. She looks so good. She looks absolutely amazing. The detail, like on the hair. Yeah. Uh, don't regret this one for a bit. And by don't regret, I mean living up to some of the expectations that I had for it. Look at like the detail on her, uh, on her armor, on her skirt. Like there's like details on her belt and the pouch. Um, really, really, really cool looking. Okay, so lances, let's get the lances in. And there she is <laughs> looking fantastic. Yeah, awesome, awesome looking figure. Very, very cool. Um, I can see why people are scalping this for a, a, an absurdly high price. Um, the, uh, the lance is just kind of like, you know, just slot on in. The white one is very close to the ground. So I have to be very careful moving it around because it can sometimes catch on this mat. So I don't wanna, I don't wanna do that. So I have to little angle it a little bit. But when it's just kind of sit resting, not too bad. Yeah, and by not too bad, I mean it looks freaking gorgeous. Okay, so that was Forte. Um, you know, A plus, as in my favorite figure that I have so far. And so we're just gonna kind of set her back here, put her on display while we open up the other figures. Man, she takes up so much room. <laughs> um, no, nah, great. Okay, so we're gonna open up the other Shadowverse figure next. This is uh, Spinaria. And once again, um, both Forte, Spinaria, and Saber are all uh, Kotobukiya. Uh, that. Kotobukiya. Um, yeah. I don't have a ton of Kotobukiya figures. Um, well, I don't have a ton of figures in general. I have a, like, I have a good smile figure. I have... Um, oh, what are those other ones? I don't remember the names of the other ones. But... I uh, have I have some pretty good ones. Most of the figures that I've been getting are the higher end um, spendier figures, and that's just because, you know, I just got expensive tastes, I guess. I want the really cool, nice ones, man. Can you blame me? Can you blame me? Um, and there we go. The she was kind of stuck to the stuck to the backdrop, but we're gonna put the backdrop put the backdrop back and get rid of that. Um, Forte had a little twisty thing somewhere. Doesn't look like Spinaria has it, so this one should be a lot easier to pull apart after we cut off all the tape here. What I really like about this one is that the base is so much like nicer and fancier than the non-collector's edition version. It just looks really, really cool. And she's gonna be, you know, basically just sitting on that. The fact that she just kind of sits here means we can get a better look. Um, both of these figures, gotta say, really, really nice job on like the face. Really, really nice detail. You can see like the translucent uh, shawl kind of thing. The hair detail is really good. Coloring. I mean, paying like a, I think this is $115. Paying $115 for this figure, so yeah. Um, you kind of, kind of pay for what you get. All right, so there's just like these pieces or these little, you know, divots here in her leg that go into these divots. And you just need to kind of like, you know, get them, get them in there. And you, 
they, they usually really snug fits, right? They, these are designed to not come undone. Um, so you definitely want to definitely want to get them in there, but not enough. You know, you don't want to hit it, you know, push too hard. You don't want to damage the figure at all. But yeah, there we go. Fantastic. Really, really nice looking. Like, look at this. The base is really cool. Like I said, I'm eventually going to get one of those rotating things that everyone else has. But currently, doing it live. <laughs> Just do, doing it live. Really, really, really nice figure. Next up, we have Saber. This is a Saber casual version. we got her out it's um it's just really interesting opening these sometimes it feels like i'm releasing them from a coffin or something i don't know <laughs> i don't know dude i don't know man um we gotta get this off maybe i should bring some scissors to do uh normally you bring scissors uh base looks really really cool all of the arcanite stuff just the the overall presentation always looks really really good and then here we have the main figure, once again, looks absolutely fantastic, dude. Lots and lots of detail on this. Uh, this is one of the ones I was like most looking forward to, other than um, Forte back there. This is the one that I was most looking forward to. She has like a little tail. Most of the Arknight figures or Arknight characters are like some part animal. So cool, we have her on the base. Looks fantastic. And then we need to get her swords. Need to get our sway swords. We still have a. Uh, we still have her arm. We'll need to. I'll, I'll put that back. I usually put those back in the. Uh, um, you know how they uh, in, the, in the original box, basically. Um, so I always have. You know, always know where they are. And so we have her. Her swords, sort of in focus. This one looks really sweet. I love the. Uh, the detail, like on the blade. Come on, camera. You can do it. Well, let's just, let's, let's put them on her. I think how this is supposed to be is this, um, this red one is coming out of the, the sheath here and, uh, you can like position it. Yeah. Like that. This one, which I think goes in like this. So I guess the tricky part will be trying to get her hand to hold the sword. All right, so I am having a little bit of trouble getting the sword into her hand. Basically on the sword, there's this little, um, you can kind of see it right there, a little thing poking out and there's a little hole in her hand, but the hole in her hand isn't like perfect. So it's really hard to get in there. Um, so I'm just having a lot of difficulty getting it in. So I'm just gonna, give up for now and I'll do it, try to do it off screen. But other than that, the figure looks great, right? So there's like detail on her hoodie. There's a lot of like little intricate details. And I think it just looks overall fantastic. The overall presentation is really, really nice. And it feels really, really nice. Like the character feels really good. And there's like, um, you know, th these are like, um, I don't know, it's just really good quality is basically what I'm trying to say. There's the little, uh, the Ark Knight's badge. This sword just kind of like, you know, stays right on in there. Uh, you can take, obviously we can take it out, but I, I, I think it looks really good. Um, 
Overall, figure's great. That one problem kind of knocks it down a little bit. Not perfect, not perfect, but I'm still happy with it because she looks fantastic. And even if I can't get the hand back there, it still looks pretty good. Looks like she's grabbing for the sword. So overall, I think all, all four of these figures look amazing and they're gonna look absolutely fantastic in the background for my videos. So really, really happy about that. And that's kind of what I wanted to do. I wanted to get figures from franchises that I really like into the background so we can have just some cool looking stuff. And obviously, like I said, I really like the Shadowverse characters, Forte, Spinaria, um, Saber, dude, it's fate. Every, every weeb loves fate. Um, or almost every weeb loves fate. And I personally really like the Arknights characters. And I'm gonna be buying more Arknights characters because they look cool. Like I said, you gotta love a cool lady with a sword or a gun. We're gonna see a lot of that. We're gonna see a lot of cool ladies with swords and gu swords and guns. So if those are the kind of figures you like, well, those are the kind of figures I'm gonna be buying. So this is kind of like the general flavor of, of things to come. We got some angels. We got some ladies with swords and some ladies with guns. Um, I bought like a, pre a really cool like 88 figure from the anime, 88, really good. But um, yeah, let me know what you think. Have you bought any Arknight figures and have you run into the similar problems? I've, this is something that I've noticed too, cause like the quality of the figures, like the sculpt looks great. The paint looks absolutely phenomenal. Just look at this. She's awesome. Like she looks so good, but there's always like some little thing like this that just makes it kind of annoying. And so the last, and the last figure, the, yes, uh, uh, the Skyfire, uh, her feet didn't fit perfectly into like the little slots. Like it just, just barely got out. And now the, the glue came off of, uh, um, came undone for the, the cat. So the cat's just kind of like sitting there. So I don't know, um, good figures, but there's some, just some little, little bit of jank, a little bit of jank overall. Great. I don't know. I'll give her like an A, maybe, maybe a B plus. Whereas the Karabukia figures are all like perfect, <laughs> especially, especially Forte here, man. Like, I don't want to. Once again, the the white the white lance is really close to the ground. I wonder if I can push it in just a little bit more. But the Forte figure is where it's at, man. I'm so happy about that. I'm so happy about the Forte figure. She looks so freaking good. Yeah. All right. Anyway, that's going to do it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, let me know if you've gotten any of these figures before, what you think of them, if you had the same problems with uh, the Arknight figures. Um, still, I mean, like, I don't, I don't regret it at all. I, I still think she looks freaking awesome. So, yeah. We'll see you next time for some more anime weeb stuff. All right, bye.